A VC will not decide to invest in you the moment you walk into a room, but they may decide not to. Before their big pitch, David and Art go to a presentation expert. Okay, so Art and David, talk to me about this presentation that you are giving. Who are you talking to? We're going to be presenting to uh, a venture capital company. How many people will you be speaking to? I believe it's two people, yes. Okay, one of the core points we're going to be mm. talking about today, you mm. have to know who you are talking to. Mm -hmm. You have to know where they are at in relation to the product you're trying to sell to them. Okay, so with this presentation, tell me what it is you want to actually achieve. We want to get the message that we have a business that is suitable for venture capital investment. Okay, what I would like now is for you guys to stand up and give your presentation as if you would on the day to the two venture capitalists. Guys, are we ready to go? Three, two, one. What we have here is a solution to a pervasive problem. We have a, a very strong, uh, unique selling proposition. Save money. Make your life easy. Increase compliance and security. No capital outlay up front. Um, now uh, I let Art talk about the uh, yeah. requirement. What we're here today to, to uh, achieve is we need a requirement of 1.2 million to drive the business further. We need to develop the UK market, which is a market that's on our doorstep and that is facing the same kind of challenges as the Irish market. At this time, there isn't visibility on any other technology or lower cost means of delivering the food safety service. All right, guys, how do you feel that went? I thought uh, it, it would be very important that the person getting the presentation had done their homework. Uh, the website is exciting and gets you interested, you know. But if I... But, if you did, but the presentation isn't. You know, but... The website is exciting, our presentation wasn't. <laughs> yeah. You should not be saying those words no. to me. No. It is your job to make it sexy, exciting. Thinking about how, how I delivered it, I think I, I more or less just read, read the bullet points, read through the bullet points, rather than adding to it. If, if all you're going to do is read the slides, just give it to them. Yeah. You know, just give it to them in paper form and walk out in hard copy. Mm -hmm. The whole point of you being there is to add value, is to bring the enthusiasm, mm -hmm. the credibility. Imagine you were the two VCs. What are you guys thinking? Thinking that this is going to be a slick sales pitch and we've got to see through the bullshit. What else? Come on, they get, they get guys coming in every single day doing this. But what are their thoughts, you know, in their heads? What are they thinking as you come in the door? What is the one key question they want answered? Is it a good investment opportunity? But that's it. Mm -hmm. They don't care about anything else except, mm -hmm. is this a good investment opportunity for yes. me? Okay, are you happy to watch back the tape? Yes. Okay, I'd like to present the uh, Celsius to you. At the beginning, you were clicking your pens. By the way, everybody does that when they're a little bit nervous. Make sure you don't have anything in your way. Even your bodyguard is looking for me. I know. Yeah. Business. Uh, I think we should uh, improve some of the body language there. Body language is a symptom of the anxiety levels inside of us. I want you to go away today and spend a bit more time together doing this presentation. So, what we have here is a solution to a pervasive problem. Okay, solutions to a pervasive problem. Am I supposed to know what that means? But my God, guys, you have to talk to them in a language they will understand. A solution to a pervasive problem is just going to have them going, what? What do you think, David? Yes. Yeah. David, you have a huge amount of authority. I believe everything you are saying. And in a situation like this, that is just fantastic. And Art, you have an incredibly engaging, charming voice. And you're very charming and you enjoy talking around the points. Just give us the key information, add value. You don't need to go any further than that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I find it extremely useful, yeah. Because <clears throat> my initial run through the presentation was reading the bullet points of the, of the PowerPoint rather than uh, You've, you've actually got to get that, uh, what you want, the, the message you want across to the, to the, to the audience.